This video outlines in short the features implemented in CTIS, to support the adherence with the principles of the General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR, and the data protection obligations for the EU Institutions Regulation, or EU DPR. The video focuses on the informative banners on publication rules and main data protection principles in CTIS, the functionality to upload documents for publication and not for publication, the documents for compliance with general union data protection and national data protection law requirements, and the acknowledgement from the sponsor, at the time of submission of an application or RFI, of their obligations on the protection of personal data. When you log into CTIS, in any of the restricted workspaces, you will see a banner that informs you that, the data and documents are subject to publication rules. This is in line with Article 81, Paragraph 4, of the Clinical Trials Regulation, or CTR. For example, when you open a Clinical Trial Application, or CTA. Please note that publication rules are applicable to the data and documents available in CTIS, provided by the users in the secure domains. In CTIS, users can provide versions of documents for publication and not for publication. In this example, the version of the protocol for publication is uploaded by sponsor user in the context of ACTA. By default, the first version of the document uploaded will be for publication. This type of documents for publication is not expected to contain personal data. You can also upload another version of the same document, which will not be published. By clicking on the plus button, the system will now display automatically the document type not for publication. Personal data, if needed to be provided, should be included in the version of the document that is not for publication. Both versions are now displayed in the CTA dossier that you are working on, but only the protocol for publication will be published in the CTIS public website. The for publication and not for publication functionality is available across the system, in both workspaces. More specifically, the functionality applies in the authority workspace to documents such as assessment reports, documents provided when raising an RFI, when raising a corrective measure or in an inspection report. In the sponsor workspace, to documents provided in a CTA dossier, when responding to an RFI, as well as during the life cycle of ACT. For example, for notifications or summary of results. For the European Commission users, it applies to union controls. And for the marketing authorization applicants, or marketing authorization holders, the functionality is available for the clinical study report. Be aware that users should ensure that documents are uploaded correctly in the publication or not for publication placeholders. Each user of the system is responsible for the content of the documents provided in CTIS. The following data protection principles should be considered. Personal data should be adequate, relevant and limited to only what is necessary in relation to the purposes for which they are processed. Personal data should be captured in CTIS only in line with the requirements of Article 81, Paragraph 2, and Paragraph 6, of the CTR, and when provided, should be treated according to principles of GDPR and EU DPR. It is responsibility of the party submitting the documents to check the content of the documents and to follow the principles of protection of personal data. In the Sponsor Workspace In the Form section of the CTA dossier, you can upload a document to prove the compliance with the General Union Data Protection Law requirements. In the Part 2 of the CTA dossier, you can also upload a document for compliance with national requirements on data protection, if needed. Once you have completed the CTA, and it is time to submit it for evaluation, you will see an informative text reminding you about the obligations for protection of personal data. By ticking the I agree box, you confirm that the data will be collected and processed in accordance with GDPR. A similar text is displayed to sponsors when submitting other types of applications, and also when providing responses to RFIs. This video is part of the CTIS training program. For more information on data protection in CTIS, you may visit our training platform and our additional materials.